the Alagash Waterway Abduction, most alien abductions stories, whether they remain credible or not, usually are missing an important element to tie it all together. This famous case from 1976 involved four men who claimed to experience the same abduction, a secret they almost took to their graves. The men were fishing in a canoe in northern Maine when they saw a gleaming UFO with an 80-foot diameter and changing red, yellow and green colors. According to the men, the UFO swooped down and beamed them up with their canoe in a blinding light. They came to several hours later not remembering anything after their abduction, but began to have frightening nightmares. They all underwent hypnosis and revealed their kidnappers were not from Earth. All of the men also took lie detector tests about their claims and past. The Travis Walton abduction, the curious case of this northern Arizona logger isn't just one of the most notorious alien abduction tales, it also became one of the most lucrative. Walton and his fellow loggers were driving home late from work one night down a dirt road when they noticed a strange glow just over the horizon of the trees. They approached the source of the light and discovered a large fluorescent object in the shape of a diamond beaming down a column of light. Walton wanted to get a good look at it for himself and stepped into the light, thinking whatever was making it would just fly away. Instead, the light grew stronger picked up Walton about three feet off the ground and threw him down knocking him unconscious. His friends sped away in fear for their lives but decided to go back and get him, only to find an empty clearing with no sign of their friend. Police suspected foul play at first, but five days later, Walton turned up at a gas station in another town more than 30 miles away. He remembered the abduction and the interior of the craft before he blacked out and woke up in the gas station. Some claim the story was a fake, even suggesting Walton was intentionally given a hallucinogen but the story sparked a wildfire in the media, leading to a best-selling book and movie, Fire in the Sky. The Barney and Betty Hill Abduction there may have been cases of alien abductions since the dawn of time, but the most famous and first well-documented case goes to this couple of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. They claimed in September of 1961 that as they were driving home from Montreal, Canada a bright light jutted out of the nighttime sky on a dark road. As the light approached them, they could see bipedal humanoid creatures looking out of the window of the spacecraft. The couple had no memory of the next two hours, but claimed they were returned to their car where damages to their clothes and shoes left evidence of their spacey encounter. The incident made the two famous overnight and turned Betty into the nation's first UFO hunter. The state of New Hampshire also recognized the legend with an official historical marker on the 50th anniversary of the abduction. The Antonio Villas Boas abduction, one of the earliest studied cases happened in Brazil, when a farmer in 1950s claimed a spacecraft emitting a very bright light landed on his family's farm. He continued to see the strange object until one night, when it took him and left some disturbing evidence of alien experimentation. The farmer claimed the alien beings brought him on their ship to impregnate a rather fetching-looking female and described everything from the ship to his suitor in great detail. When he returned, he claimed the incident produced symptoms such as nausea, loss of appetite, headaches and even bruising. Investigators have differed on their conclusions, but the differing outcomes only gave it more credibility and notoriety among believers and skeptics alike, especially the believers who are praying for an interstellar hookup of their own.